Alright, so it's like a five second delay, so... so we're gonna start talking. Welcome everybody to Hamburg Gaming Esports. I'm your host, Emmett Simonson, and with my co-commentator here, Nate Johnson. Hi. Uh, so today we are up against... Where you, Mr. Worth, what, who are we up against today? Today we're, our team is up against Mount St. Joseph Academy. Up first is Sean Snyder, one of our... He's subbing today for... Finn. That's all I know. All right. So Sean, Sean's starting off with King K. Rule. Uh, interesting... Heavy character to play. <laughs> so, what what's going on right now is that they're figuring out what maps to ban for the match. There is only eight maps what available map right now. What maps do you not like, Evan? Because I don't play this game. What so. maps? Oh, I think I, Yoshi Story is probably my least favorite. Nate. Any small map because I play Steve. You know, I can't mine you can't, small maps. I mean, that makes sense to me. I like maps with less platforms because I have I'm a more of a ground character player. But you're bum. Sean, what about you? Yeah. So the first stage that the enemy team is banning is Pokemon Stadium 2, a flat stage with two platforms. Now Sean, as the away team, has to ban two maps next. They're gonna ban one more, and the last map in the top five is gonna be it. Would you ban How many matches do we have up today? FD and Battlefield. So Sean banned a. F so the last. So the enemy gets to pick which map we get to play from either Small Battlefield or Smashville. So the just just in, the enemy has chosen Small Battlefield to fight on. Well, I'm glad I'm not playing. <laughs> because uh, I'm garbage. It's all right. You, you'll get better. I'm only playing Steve. Yeah. We we know this. So. The format of these games are a best of three, three matches, three stocks each. So we have Sephiroth versus King K. Rule. King K. Uh, Rule has a lot of counters with Sephiroth with his, with his own counter. I have no clue what's going on, but I see a big crocodile and a white-haired man. Yeah. So King K. Rule has super armor with a lot of his moves. Oh, oh wow. An oh. early stock lead from Sean, only taking 2% that whole time. Pretty nice. Pretty Sean, nice, that super say. armor is really coming in handy for him, isn't it? Oh. Okay. Sean getting some, trying to get some combos going. Is the white-haired man old? Um, he's from Final Fantasy, so I don't play Final that Fantasy? game. Well, Sephiroth's a very notorious villain in the Final Fantasy series. Um. Yeah, that's about all I know about Final Fantasy, but... I, I wouldn't even know that he's a villain. Sean really using his projectiles to keep Sephiroth at bay, because all he really has for projectiles is that neutral B explosion. And Sean takes another stock, not so even like, like 100% yet. It's be a pretty uh, easy game here. Sean's really just going for the three stock now. Let's see if he can do it. If he can get the spike, and he went for the... Oh! It seems that that guy just gave up at the end. <laughs> I don't know. Trying to get back to the stage. And Crocodile wins. Yes, yes I am. Sean sticking with K rule. The, now the way this works is the enemy does not have to say if they are switching characters or not, but we do since we're the winners. So the next format for banning. Oh, so is they it's get just unfair. Them. Yeah. <laughs> so the next format for the next match is going to be. So for the next two matches, the winner of that previous game is going to ban two stages, and the loser gets to pick the next. the The loser gets to pick. So Sean banned FD and Kalos. FD is just that flat stage once again, and Kalos is kind of like Pokemon Stadium Two, except the platforms are on the very edges, and it's just like a pillar. Don't don't, don't try and explain this stuff to me. I'm not going to get it. <laughs> so Sean has a one game lead right now. It's one nothing him. Hopefully he can get something going and keep going and steamroll this poor guy. Yeah. No. Is that another Final Fantasy person? No, that that's from Tekken. Still don't know. Any anime I don't so watch. So Kazuya is one of the hardest characters to play in this game, in my opinion. He has inputs from all sorts of different things. Uh, he has, I believe he has a different move for every tilt tilt attack. <laughs> so, 
It's two gold boys. So we have Kazuya versus Team K. Rule. Hopefully Sean can outrange him with his projectiles. And if he has same to play lane, he can't. Match. Yeah, get a, get a quick three stock on him. Yeah, it looks likely. Sean with the... I don't know what he did there. He could have really gotten him with the blunderbuss there. Back throw. That looked like he was mopping the floor with him. He's, he kind of is. And he missed his recovery. I... See, this is why Steve is best, bro. He has the, one of the best recoveries, I think. It's all right. It's an all right recovery. But hopefully Sean can really just take this lead and run with it. 43% on Sean, 100% on the Kazuya, and he's and dead again. Things are not looking good for... I think this is going to be Mount a pretty fast Saint match Lewis. here, ladies and gentlemen. But... um. Sean looking for the down air just to give a little disrespect to this poor Kazuya. He's already murdering him. Down throw, and he missed the forward smash. Charges just a little bit too much. He's really using his projectiles to his advantage here. Oh, a little input grab. What is that? So basically what happens when Kazuya can grab, he can do different inputs which do different directions of the grab and different strengths and throws. And, and it also looks really cool. Three wow. stock from Sean Snyder. <laughs> Want to come up for a post-game interview? All right, Sean took 2-0, so he's wins. So this next game is just going to be for fun. Too easy. Is Sean going to go a different character? Or is he going to look for the shutout? So, if there is going to be a bonus round against this guy, Sean said he's going to be looking to play Mario today. So, um, that was an incredible performance from Sean's K rule. So, let's see what we can get from the rest of our team today. <laughs> so, the other guy is not playing the other game. So, uh, he rage Sean, quit? Sean, chair. Oh, oh yeah, bad. scooch over, guys. Make room, make room. Right, get in the camera. Get in. Hey, yo. So, how'd you feel about that last game, Sean? Oh, my God. That was the easiest game I've ever played in my life. Now, I saw you go for a few down airs there. What happened when you missed him? Why didn't you keep going why, for him? Why didn't I keep going for him? Um, because he was too high on stock already, or high up on the percentage. So, anything killed at that point. So... You didn't want to go for any style points or I, I like definitely that? wanted to go for style points, but I'd, I'd hit like a, a tilt, and he's already gone. So. That is true, that is true. Especially because I'd launch him once and he'd uh, recover. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anything you'd like to say? Yeah. I wanted that game three. I wanted I that game three. We, we all saw it. Well, good job today, Sean. Thank you right. for coming by uh, for the post-game interview. I hope Colden does well. Yeah. All right. I have good faith in Colden. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good luck to Colden here. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I'm back. So the first map that they have banned is Smashville, which, I, which is a very confusing map for me because the, the platforms move. Which one did they ban? They banned Smashville. Oh, wait. Hey, Colton, hand me that sheet so Nate can look at it. Yeah, I'm dumb. Huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so far they've banned Smashville. What'd you are ban, Colton? Are these the only maps? So Colden Van, Small Battlefield, Battlefield. Essentially the same stage, except Small Battlefield is a little smaller. It only has two platforms instead of three. Wait, so he banned these two? Yeah, so all we have now is Final Destination and Pokemon Stadium 2. Smashville, yeah, I remember I was playing on that. Hey, Mr. Word, do you want to update the scoreboard or show me how? You just click on it. Here. Wait, I don't, I don't want to actually move it. Oh, I don't know which side, but I, all I know is you click on it. Oh, it's just like that? Yeah. I'm learning. Yes, you are. Uh, we could do these two if we wanted to. I thought that was the point of them. It is. That is the point of them. Oh, God! Oh, and it is a Bowser v. Bowser. Bowser, Bowser ditto today. Bowser. All right. Uh, Bowser's one of the hardest hitting characters in the game. Yep, I would know that from experience. Yeah. Wasn't fun, I must say. All right, so Bowser has some very strong hitting moves that, if Colden can use that to his advantage, he can really take him out here. Bowser's forward air is really good for spacing, and oh my god! <laughs> Who's winning? Oh, 
Colden. Oh, from a ruthless forward air. So, Colden went for a darker skinned Bowser. So, we have a classic one and a. Other one. The other one. Just say. Oh, black one. Alrighty! So, he's really going. To, so, the enemy is going for forward tilts, which is just like a kind of a basic move. Just to. What is happening? A lot of. A lot of them like to jump off the map and not know how to recover. Yeah, that's seemingly the favorite thing of this enemy team. Let's see if he can get that three stock here. Let's see if he can get a spike down air. If Colton can get a spike off here, it might just ruin the entire enemy's day. Up air off the top, watch out for the down air. Down B, which can break shield if you're not careful. Colton recovering back up. He's at 137 right now. Wait, I used the Anything shield before? Will kill him. Huh? I used a shield before. Oh, and a three stock. <laughs> Another third consecutive three stock. Let's see if Colton can keep it going. Alrighty. All right, so Colton, are you gonna change the character? Colden is changed into Dr. Mario for this next game. Dr. Mario is an incredibly strong hitter, but his recovery, not so good. It sounds, sounds like it. Smashville and Yoshi. So Colden has banned Smashville and Yoshi's Story, which, in my opinion, are really good bands, because I hate well, I Yoshi's thought, Story. I thought this is game two. Yeah, so game two, the winner bans two stages from all of them. Oh. So game two unlocks all eight stages. Oh! <gasps> We can see some Steve gameplay today. Now I know how to commentate this gameplay. <laughs> right. Nate should be a little more active, hopefully, this time. But I'm not going to be able to say any of the moves because I kind of just spam and stuff happens. You know what? You can just get hyped. So let's see. All I know is I am not the kind of person to how I play Steve. I don't use the fishing rod or the combos. What's a combo? So a combo is when you string yeah, I, a lot of I moves know, together, know, and then usually a lot of I try and either knock them up or get them like if they knock me up and build straight down. That's yeah. all I do. Yeah. So we have a zombie versus Dr. Mario. Hopefully, Dr. Mario can find the cure for this guy. <laughs> I don't do this no more. Starting off with a really strong forward there. Now something similar to Dr. Oh. Mario and Mario is their move set, but. Also, it's very different. So Mario's forward air actually has a meteor effect that sends the opponent straight down. But for Dr. Mario, it just sends him forward, similar and, to Ganon. Uh, Steve's up arrow is what? <laughs> so it seems like Steve here is really fishing for a grab, but Colton's doing a really good job yeah, at keeping fish. him from it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was an accident. That was... Colden's really looking for something here. So Dr. Mario's recovery is really unique from m most other characters, where he uses his down B, and if you mash the B button while you go up, it you shoots him up too, yeah. So he's got like a jetpack, and Steve is getting thrown around. <laughs> it's a really, it's actually an even game, and now Colden took the first stock. You sure about that? You know what? I didn't ask you. So one thing that I like more about Dr. Mario than actual Mario is that um, he has a spike. Well, a funner spike. Well, no, Dr. Mario's a spike, too. I like Dr. Mario's spike better than Mario's because it's just a stomp on their head. But yep. Some people like uh, Mario's spike. I, I like Dr. Mario's spike, too. Yeah, I know yep. you do. I hate Mario. Yeah, Mario's the worst. But Dr. Mario, he's an alright guy. He cured. Colden coming back from every I shot that just Steve can do against him. <laughs> And uh, it, Back there with it 70. looks like another three stock. <laughs> what, why'd you say that? What? Now, now you jinxed him. Never mind. Colden really has to come back from this. See, that's where that recovery for Dr. Mario comes in with the down B up. I didn't jinx it. I don't know what you're talking about. Colden looking for something here just to get to Steve up. Is he going to go for the style points for the three stock? Or the two stock now at this point, but... Steve is really being... They've really like fallen off I'm the map. I'm assuming not a game three against this guy. <laughs> really? 
Dr. Mario. They want a game three? The red and blue pill. I want to pick one. I like it. All right, we're up 2-0 now for Hamburg. So, all right, third game. Holden's switching his character again. All up to Ganondorf. Ganondorf is one of the hardest hitting characters in the game, but is widely seen as the worst due to his recovery and slow speed. Yeah, you said doo doo. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Isn't this what commentators do? Yeah. 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 So you're doing a good job. Yup. I hate you. He's looking cool. Thanks. All right. What's the end be going to? Stay and Steve. All right, it's gonna be a Gandor versus Steve's match. This Let's is probably gonna be one of the here. hardest matches of Colden's life if the Steve knows what he's doing. Which, from last match, it didn't look super good. I mean, I might be bad, but I don't walk off the map. That's true. That is true. And not even try to come back up. Well, he so did. He, uh, he placed his crafting table down all the way at the bottom. Oh, that's true. He did send it off the stage with him. So at least they went down together. I feel bad for that crafting table. Yeah. Rest in peace, crafting table. <laughs> it's a waste of food. All right, so the enemy has picked Pokemon Stadium 2. Not sure why he did, because for Steve, he, his recovery can actually get him stuck underneath the stage, which is no fun for him. Yep, I'm not. I'm gonna remember that and never play this map with you. <laughs> so, the problem with Ganondorf versus Steve is Steve has a lot more movement than Ganondorf does, and he has moves that'll come out a lot quicker, so we can just combo him into infinity. Ganondorf is. Did I say that right? Yeah. All right, just making sure. He he's very he's a tank. Yeah, he really is. He doesn't die very often, so the Steve really is just trying to get as much damage as he can I'm off before. I'm pretty sure that all this guy does is touch the stick. Because looking at Steve's moves right now, those are all stick moves. Yeah, those are all smash moves. So he's going for an interesting up tilt. I don't know if he was trying to do a read or... Apparently he was in accident against this guy, but... That's Cap. He's still fishing for his grabs, and I really don't understand why. They're not really working out for him. They're just kind of throwing cold in the round. See, the thing about Ganondorf is one hit from him um, is an entire combo for Steve. So yeah. he doesn't really have to work for any damage, and that is a brutal downer on the stage. Oh. Anvil right onto his head. Ganondorf looking to take out Steve. He's just trying to get him across the stage oh, with no, that Nair. Oh, that's <laughs> off. Nair at the ledge, and that is game over for Zombie here. He's oh. going for his side B. He really likes that. He, he really likes just smacking you with that wooden sword. Yeah. If Surprised he's not trying to get any materials. Yeah, the Steve is really confusing. He's not doing Steve I think things. he was actually trying to fish for that second. He threw his fish around off the edge. Yeah, he's really fishing here for something to happen. I don't know. He doesn't like using his materials a He lot. really needs to start blocking his attacks, too. Yeah. Or that percentage is going to go way up. Because right now his movement's feeling a little bit chunky. Oh, that's Minecraft. That is true. A TNT, oh, oh my god! <laughs> right on Ganon's head, ending him. And another oh, Nair at the ledge oh. takes him out at 100%. That's why I love Ganon, his moves are so strong, yeah, but he's too. so, so weak in yeah. recovering. And that's right there is one of his big problems. That's 50% in three seconds. Another See grab out of his Steve does the kick. same thing as he did last match and walk off trying to hit a combo. Honestly, I don't think that could happen again. He seems to be doing a little better this match when it doesn't matter. Did he trade controllers or somebody? <laughs> Maybe the little brother's playing. A little dash attack get him up to 75. It's now an even stock game. It's still 2-1, to one, but he didn't tech it this time. An interesting strategy. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. If Colton goes for a Warlock Punch here, I'm going to lose my mind. Walk into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's, that's the game. Colton, get in here for the post-game interview. What did you do to that zombie? I murdered him. All right, so Colton. Yeah. 
What an incredible match of you guys. Right. Generous. We got Henry with Mr. Game and Watch, one of the most hated characters in this entire game, mostly because of his projectiles and how much you can spam them all the time. A oh, Mr. Game and Watch hero match. Now, hero is one of my personal favorites because he has um, a very unique mechanic where. Yeah, I don't like hero. Why not? Because you just spammed with him. I didn't spam, I used his abilities to their full potential. So, the thing with the heroes, if you don't want him to use his down B, which can have serious consequences, is you just had to really play into him. So, let's see what Hero can do here, because so far, these two guys have really been letting us down. But Colden and Sean have been ripping apart this enemy team. Here with a, that up smash is really hard to hit. It, its hitbox is like a straight line, only up on the sword. I mean, yeah, that would. It's a little harder to hit. So. What just happened? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Wait, didn't we already win the match though? This is the third game. I think it's different by points. Hey, Mr. Ward, did we win the match already? Yeah. So we won. Okay. So luckily these guys wanted to Oh my Wow. Um yeah, so this is why I don't Hero like used Hero. his <laughs> So Siri used his side B, which basically just calls a bolt of lightning down, which oh. <laughs> Classic down smash to the ledge from Game Watch and many other characters, K Rule, Incineroar. But Game Watch has very powerful moves, such as Judge, Nair. Up air for juggling. No. His up B is really good for out of shield. So Game Watch's up B is something special. We call it out of shield move. Which basically means as soon as you drop your shield after an enemy attack, you can just get out. Just like that. It's a really good way out, and it does, and it does a little bit of damage to get him away from you, so you have time to think. Here is really looking to kill with his down B there. He's looking good on his mana right now. And that's it for the game. All right. Two stock and Henry. Let's see what he can do next. All right. Good match from those two. Yo, what are those little blue water things? I believe those are... I don't know what those are, but I know they're from Dragon Quest. I don't play that game. <laughs> yeah, neither, neither do I. I. I don't know half these games. I just play the... I play Smash Bros. And it's like, look at this guy's from Metroid. I've never played Metroid. I've never... I, I played Mario. Uh, I haven't played Final yeah. Fantasy. I haven't played the Rob game. I haven't played Minecraft. <laughs> You're just a bad liar. You have a thousand hours Bro, on Minecraft. Okay. Over a thousand okay. hours. Okay. okay, okay. Who's got all the trophies? Me. Yeah. All oh, the hours you got. Yeah! <laughs> I see your point here. So Henry's going to the Mr. Game and Watch Robert Mash. Let's see if we can get it again. I got 84% though. You don't got a hundred. That's pathetic. Well, I don't Do play better. for trophies. Well, you don't want to have that hundred percent platinum trophy there. <laughs> not really. Not why, why not? Don't you feel accomplished? Don't you like feeling accomplished? <laughs> I did it on Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. You know what? I respect that. Yeah. Did you go to Tsushima? No. Bro, I couldn't. My PlayStation got oh, oh, I thought we were in a match. And my PlayStation got wiped. So what? Just do it again. I don't want to play the whole story over it. <laughs> Why not? Didn't you it's like a the 60 game? Plus oh, look, the match game. is starting. Oh, and we're in another one. <laughs> Same load. Same load. <laughs> Hero versus Game and Watch. Hopefully, okay. we do all right here. Henry, hopefully, is going to be able to figure out what this guy's plan is now. A Metal Slash off the books, which... Honestly, is the worst thing he could have done. Now, I don't know for what those that of you means, who don't know, but... Metal Slash only hurts the enemy as if they're made of metal. So it will only hurt oh. an enemy hero if it's cocoined, which means he doesn't move and he just kind of sits there. Metal Slash will instantly kill him. Or if someone, if items are on, picks up a metal box and they turn metal. So no character is actually made of metal. No. So that is uh, useless to every single person. Yes. Nice. So unless metals, unless he's, unless Finn was, or er, sorry, not Finn, Henry was also playing hero. Metal slash is useless, and even then, it's pretty useless because not many heroes could claim because it's a very useless move and it leaves you very vulnerable. Is it more useless than uh, Steve's move sometimes? 
it is more useless than Steve's moves. All of Steve's moves are really good because they're combo starters. Ooh, a nice forward air from Hero here. Oh, how do you combo? Just look it up. Look up Look up Steve combos. Okay. And there's like whole videos on them. Like, like research. Steve. Steve combos and then do Smash Bros. Hopefully, Smash. Henry can get something. Hero was going for that down there on him. Gonna do my research. Henry's not trying to cook any bacon on him. Oh, and he missed F Smash. Leaves him wide open for the murder from Hero. This doesn't look like a combo. You have to look up it on YouTube. Oh, I don't want to watch a video right now. I didn't say you had to. I don't even know why you looked it up right now. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice forward smash from Henry. Henry has a two stock. He's down by one stock right now. I didn't see what it was. I was busy yelling at Nate. Oh. Down smash, my mistake. Henry has to take his, the least amount of damage as he can in order it's to come back good. two stocks. Well, Henry's doing really good against this hero, who's really good. A little spike, two Ooh. down airs in a row. He has to make something happen here. Almost oh. decimated by Ooh. Hero's lightning. What is it? Henry was going for a judge. Now, the neat thing about judge is it has uh, a little bit of an RNG aspect to it, where there's numbers one through nine. One is the weakest. It actually hurts you at yourself. But if you get a nine, I know how to do math. I was telling you what it did. Then what does it do? You interrupted me. Oh, and oh, well, no. we lost. All right. All right, so Mount St. Joe's took away... One stock from us. One stock, it's a point. Same thing. Bottom line, they got a point. We didn't 3 0, but good performance from Henry. We'll get him in for a post game interview after this final match. What? Right. Oh, there's still another match? Yeah, let's see who Henry. Well, because they're just going to do the third. All right, Henry's going Bowser again. Bowser is one of my favorite characters because of his hard hits. We've heard this already. We don't need to hear it again. I do like oh, his forward smash. He's my favorite. Oh, is he? Tell, tell, us, tell us why he's your favorite. Oh, I wonder why. Because maybe uh, oh, I'm having a bit of flashbacks. Yeah? With you just belly flopping on me. That Bowser doesn't belly flop. My bad, shell flop. Oh, yeah, I did do that a lot, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, and then I So I Bowser's just down and he goes into his shell and spirals down, and it's annoying because it's... It, I, I hate it, but it's really fun to use against Nate because it makes him angry. So that's why I do it. So it looks like it's going to be a Bowser hero matchup. This guy must really be feeling good about himself right now because he just wiped out a game and watch. So hopefully Henry can put him in his place and just wipe the floor with him. <laughs> So what they're going to do is they're going to pick the next stage. I believe it's Henry's turn to pick. So Henry, what, what stage do you want to play? It is the day of PS2 today. It's, it's, it's this one. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, are there platforms on that one? I can't see. Yeah, there's two little platforms on it. We'll see in a second. Do they move? Right. Just as I predicted, I'm the best. Bowser versus Hero on PS2. So Bowser hopefully, sucks. Um, if let's go. Henry utilizes Bowser's incredible speed, he's one of the fastest characters in the game and one of the heaviest. He can. How does that make sense? He works out? I don't know, dude. You think that man works out? Doesn't he just sit in his dungeon all day and kidnap Princess? Oh, wow. I'm sorry, Henry. That was an impressive little. That was an impressive kill right there. Forward smash, bringing it up to 50%. Henry just has to get one more. A few more hits and Hero's gone. But if Hero gets a crit here, Henry's done. That's another me mechanic for Hero, is if he uses any smash attack, it always has a small chance to get a critical hit, which does double damage and I believe a lot more knockback, which can lead to insane kills at about 0%. Flame Slash would take out his back air. Henry really needs to do something here. Side B, up on the platform, had the chance to kill, but he just wasn't at high enough percent. A two jab. Henry's got a Ooh. down smash. All right, take one stock off a of hero. We slap them out of the map. All right, so come on, Henry, you can do this. Up smash from hero, just catching his downer. That was really impressive. 
one of Bowser's best moves is his forward air and its ability to space, and it has a giant hitbox which can keep the enemies away from you and out of your sight. I'm trying to up tilt to get something going here, just to get the hero away from him and above him. Now Bowser's best place is not above, but to the side. So if Bowser, oh no, the super armor! Oh no! What happened? <laughs> so when when hero has a side beat fully charged, you get something called super arm, which makes you invulnerable to attacks. So you don't get knocked back, and you just power through with the move. Everyone hates it, unless you're using it. Henry, get over here for that post game interview. Yeah, look who's using. <laughs> All right, we'll see. All right. So, Henry, what happened? Uh, you know, sometimes you just have those days. And you just have those yeah. days. <laughs> and just be a learning experience. It's, it, it's this will definitely be a learning time. experience for yeah. 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 But uh, That's about it. You know? yeah. <laughs> that last I game there, how do you feel about that hero absolutely dogging on you? <laughs> Uh, not good. But not good. <laughs> <Yeah>. But uh, <laughs> hopefully you'll be able to practice against some heroes, just so you can be prepared for that match next time. For sure. And, uh, Anything to declare? That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for playing, man. Why should we be shaking people's hands? It's fine. Get over it. We. Alrighty. Is that it, Mr. Worth? <laughs> All right. Thank you for everyone who stopped by today. This has been Hamburg Bulldogs Gaming. I'm Emmett Simonson. And I'm Nate Johnson. And we are now signing off. <laughs> Adios. Woo! Get the water.